Donnie here says that you're a dropout. Well, yeah, sophomore year. I just, I just figured that school wasn't really my thing, you know? So now you're homeless, you're jobless, you're friendless, and your girlfriend just dumped you. How's your thing working out for you? Did he just ask me about my thing? No, I, I, I don't mean your thing, I mean that thing. You know, the thing that is not your thing. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Good. I get it. Well, honestly, it's going good. Um, I have a new place now. Got a new roommate. He's super cool. And... I was hoping I can really walk out of here with a job, too. Well, you're in luck, lightning rod. I only hire dropouts. Really? Hmm. Why is that? I'm for the underdog. We are dropouts ourselves. Ever since that university came to town 50 years ago, they started buying up all the local real estate. When they tried to push my parents out back in the 80s, I dropped out, took over the restaurant. And that's the reason why up to now I still don't own this property. They're still at it though. You know that uh, club that you used to work in? The, the Char? Well, Zar? Zar, whatever. The university owns it. They run the business. That former boss of yours. Who, oh, Randall? Randall. He's the dean's nephew. They literally let underage students drink there. <laughs> Duh! It's as if they don't know. Because all these people care about is the money, the money, money. Speaking of money, you want the job or what? I mean, hell yeah. I can't even start today. Great! You're hired! Fish bump! Hey, what the fuck is that? What, what is that? What is that? I don't know, but there goes another one. <laughs> hey, you wanna see something cool? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Forging Cookie. Confucius say, man with hole in pocket. Feel cocky all day. I swear the last thing these customers will hear is me choking Larry to death.